We've reviewed and tested tons of products last year. You're watching Rayanne for now. Is it my top 10 favorite and natural curly hair products for 2016? So let's start off with wash day. For shampoos and conditioners, coming up first is the Fala Cleanse Hair Solutions line. These are my favorite, favorite, favorite. I've been using them for well over a year and these are still a staple in my wash day routine. So I always opt for the Fala Cleanse shampoo and conditioner on wash day. Like I said, they run about $20 a bottle, but they are formulated for our specific hair texture. So I've been sticking primarily with the DS line for their shampoo and conditioner. And this one is for normal to dry hair and scalp. Curly hair gets really, really dry really quickly and I do suffer a tiny bit with dry scalp. So this works wonders on my hair. I use it on my natural hair. I use it on my extensions. I use it pretty much for everything. I also use it on my mom's hair as well. So definitely opting for these on wash day in 2016. Moving on to our next product, which comes from our favorite favorites are Rizalia. This is their hydrating argan oil mask. This is about a $13 hair mask, but it is $13 of amazing luxuriousness. I use this on my hair extensions a lot. When they start to get matted up and tangled and start looking a little bit crazy, I love to add this mask onto it, put it in a little grocery bag and let it sit for a little bit and my extensions pretty much come back brand spanking new. As far as my natural hair, I like to put it onto my natural hair in the shower, put a shower cap on so I get like that greenhouse effect. Finish up when I'm doing the shower, rinse it out, and I'm pretty much ready to go. I don't have to sit down for 45 minutes, 50 minutes, an hour, two hours at all. This literally can start working on your hair in a matter of five to 10 minutes, and it's amazing. <laughs> and last but not least, after my wash day routine, I go in with my leave-in, which is the Arvizalia once again. This is their hair premium argan oil hair treatment, and this is for all hair types. I like to use this right after I get out of the shower. This is the first thing I reach for. I put about two to three pumps in my hand, and I put it throughout my hair, and then I'll start in with my stylers or moisturizers. But I love this as a leave-in. It's great for sealing the hair, sealing in that moisture before you go in with the cream. And this hair treatment runs for about $19 a bottle. So it's a little bit steep, but definitely worth the price. The ingredients in this are amazing. And it does have argan oil in it. So it's really, really amazing for the price. So now that we've got wash day out of the way, let's get into the moisturizers. Number one on the list, of course, <laughs> would have to be my my DNA moisturizer hair butter. This is for all curly hair types. Wavy, coily, straight, whatever kind of hair type you have. I think this does amazing on textured hair. I use this on my natural hair for my twist styles, my braid outs, any kind of styling or setting hairstyle. Um, I haven't used it exactly for ponytails or actual styling, but I do use it to set my hair. My DNA butter runs for about $10. It has a really nice scent to it. It does have a really nice hold and moisture to it. The next one on the list, which is a cheaper alternative, is the ORS Smooth and hold pudding. This pudding is amazing. This in a jar. I got it courtesy of the Family Dollar event that I went to. This product is available in your local Family Dollar stores for about $6 so it's definitely budget friendly. You get a nice amount in the jar and it's amazing for definition. Setting hairstyles. I love it for my twist outs particularly with that smooth and hold pudding. I've also done some really loose, not too much of a sleek hairstyle but um, little twist hairstyles, ponytails, things like that. It's really, really amazing for moisture and it won't break the bank. The other moisture that I loved last year is this Jamaican Mango and Lime Pure Naturals. This is their new line that launched last year with smooth moisture, the coconut buttercream. This moisturizer is dope. I loved it for um, definition hairstyles as well, like my braid outs, anything where I want to add a lot of moisture and oil into my hair. Their line is pretty amazing for it. These are really, really oil-based products. So if you're going to use this moisturizer, I would say to steer away from the oils because it already has a lot of oils in it already. So it's pretty much like a two-in-one when you're going for a moisturizer like this. The buttercream is available for nine bucks, so definitely under ten dollars, a little bit higher than the little budget-friendly options that you guys have, but this is definitely something that you could totally splurge on. And last but not least is Caravader. They are a black-owned business. I did work with them last year, and I love working with them. This is their cream brulee, which you guys know I love for all of my twisted hairstyles. So I did a lot of twist outs. I did some bantu knots with this. This is really, really great. I love the formula. This is definitely going to go in more than just like a moisturizer it's going to penetrate your actual hair and give you a nice luxurious feel towards the end of your hairstyle and last but not least getting into our styler eco styler of course of course of course this eco styler will always make it onto my list every single year y'all i love my eco styler i haven't done a wash and go in probably like an entire year but i have been loving my eco styler for my edges per se the two that i've been sticking with is the crystal white eco styler as well as the olive oil based eco styler i 
got away, so I had to steer away from the Argan Oil Eco Styler because it was just leaving my hair super, super oily, more than defined. The like crystal one as well as this olive oil one has a really, really good hold to it. It's not too, too drying. So I love these two. I use the white one for a lot of um, molded hairstyles like ponytails, puffs, anything of that nature. And then the oil-based one is the one that I use on my edges primarily or if I'm doing any kind of regular hairstyles, twisted hairstyles that I want a nice, sleek, clean finish to. The only thing with this product is that you have to make sure that your cocktail and things right, make sure that the moisturizer you have underneath your hair is not super, super heavy to where this will start to flake up or turn white on your hair, but it's definitely a staple in my collection as always, every single year. These run for about three bucks, so they're definitely a steal. Next, we have the Cream of Nature Style and Shine Foaming Mousse. And this has argan oil in it, straight from Morocco. You guys know I just reviewed it. I loved it. Absolutely loved it on my natural hair as well as my extensions. I use this primarily on my extensions as far as my Beauty Forever deep wave hair to get that wet and wavy kind of look. I loved it for that. And I also wore it on my natural hair for my rod sets. Anything where I'm using like perm rods or any kind of roller set kind of looks, flexi rods. I always go for this foaming mousse. It has an oil in it so it's definitely going to give you that luxury shine and luster that you guys are looking for at the end of your hairstyles as well as the hold and definition. And this runs for about four bucks. Last but not least, I just got on the got to be line. I just got on the bandwagon. This is their Ultra Glued Invincible Gel, the black bottle. So this one is not waterproof, but it definitely helps me to lay down my lace fronts or lace wigs. Any of my closures, I love to put this a little drop of it onto edges of my closures just to lay them down really, really flat. So I would use this not for my curly textures, but more so like my straight textures that I want to lay super, super flat. But love this gel. Super affordable. It's about four bucks for the gel and it does I love this. So I hope you guys enjoyed my recommendations. Of course, these are my top 10 favorite and natural curly hair products of 2016. Let me know what you guys' favorites were for 2016 so I can check them out. Be sure to leave them in the comment section below. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.